Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, Ness prevailed against the evil part of himself in Magicant, and prevailed, gaining a mega level up in the process. And this time, we are in Saturn Valley, because Ness told himself psychically that he needed to be here, so we are. But before I jump into that, I made a lot of changes with inventory in between episodes that I would like to show off. The first of which is Ness. Not much has changed for him, in fact, his inventory has pretty much stayed like this the entire Let's Play, but he he now has the Earth Pendant, and more ketchup packets, I believe, and he also has the Hand Aid, which is an item that we got from Paula's mother in Tucson that will heal one party member back to full health. So it's, it's a pretty good item, especially this late game when, I mean, it has the potential of healing up about 750 HP which hardly any items do that, so it's it's pretty good. Paula, I couldn't really figure out what to do with her inventory, so I just gave her the sea pendant and the rabbit's foot, and then filled her inventory with revival items. So she has cups of life noodles, horns of life, and secret herbs. And just for a little bit of flavor, I threw in some bags of dragonite so she can do damage when she's out of pee pee, so that is nice. Uh, and Jeff, also standard fare. He has a ton more multi-bottle rockets and pretty much the same in inventory. However, he did get Ness's Cherub's Band uh, to replace his own Diamond Band, as it will benefit him a lot. And finally, Pooh has changed probably the most out of any member of the group, as before, he had bottles of DX water, and now he has seven brain food lunches and Horn of Life. I decided that I, would go I was going to splurge on this. I went to Delam, spent a couple thousand dollars on these, they're $800 a piece, and they heal up 300 HP and 50 PP. So it's a good item. And really, inventories don't matter at this point, because everyone's PP is so high, I have two healers in the group, but mainly I just did this so that uh, when the chips are down, I can make it count when it needs to. So if I don't have any PP, I can pretty much revive members or do whatever I would do with PP, except without it. Also, he has a Horn of Life for emergency situations. So this is my inventory, and now let's talk to the peoples of the places, and I am very specific. Let's talk to this guy first. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead for you. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Now let's talk to Saturn first. Zoom! I, I like your insight on this, buddy. I really do. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Ananets, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase distorter. The purpose of the of the device is to enable instantaneous travel between spa or through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. Interesting. Yaha! The Mr. Saturns are incredible folk, and the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the, prototy the prototype's phase distorter has been stolen. Someone is- Yeah, I can't talk. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. Okay, and that's all you have to say. So it's not entirely obvious what I have to do, as it has never been with Dr. Anonet, but we're supposed to walk inside the phase disorder itself. And it will teleport us to the end game! Or not. I assume that's not what it's supposed to do. Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing, but that one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Uh, yes, actually. Eureka, that's it! With even just a piece of this meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zexanite. I doubt that your mortal en enemy Gygus, or whatever, will allow you to go to Annette and get a piece of the meteorite. By now, Annette is in evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please t check them out before you leave. I wonder what Annette is like at this point in time. So, Annette has been taken over, apparently, and we need to go back to where this entire adventure began, when where we met Buzz Buzz, and gather something from the remains of the, of the meteorite. So, let's go to Annette once again. We were actually there recently, when we bought a house. And now we're going back there again to defend it. So, Annette resembles 
the first episode version of Onet very closely. There are enemies strewn about, everyone is inside, and it is nighttime, or at least it's dark. Um, and that's that leads me to another thing. Uh, last episode I talked about a 1 in 128 item, but I tried to do that in between episodes and I failed. Oh boy, there's an enemy. I believe this is a mechanical octobot, I could be wrong. I am wrong, this is the evil eye, which is a fairly scary enemy. Uh, let's see, let's look at the stats on this thing. He is capable of diamondization, so that makes it this very scary. I just need to knock him out with my strongest PSI freeze ability, and since we're right next to Ness's house, that is all the more possible, because I can just heal up. Uh, Jeff, go ahead and use a bash attack. Um, his heavy bazooka actually isn't as powerful as, as his bash attack anymore, but I keep it around just because it's an AoE attack that's free. Okay, Pooh, you do the same thing, because I need to kill this guy quickly. If he can diamondize me, that's not something I want to see. Though I do have a handful of cups of life noodles, I still don't want to be dealing with that, because that's annoying. Jeff's level is now 68. Offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 2, vitality went up by 2, IQ went up by 2, luck went up by 1, sweet! HP went up by 27. But yeah, um, I went to the fire spring and fought the... Uh, the major psychic psychos to try and get the star pendant, which is an item that grants immunity to fire freeze and flash attacks along with I believe paralysis, I think Yeah, paralysis uh, And uh, last after one hour and 20 minutes. I ended up failing so that was problematic and I just gave up So let's see what how Ness's family is doing their lights are off, so his mom's obviously aware of the enemies. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around Onet right now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Uh, do you want to eat some steak? Uh, sure, why not? Are you more relaxed? Okay. Let's talk to King. At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world. Don't you think? Yeah, probably. Also, I saw you as a puppy and you were really cute. Uh, you were a cute, a cute dog. Now you're ugly as dirt, but you were a cute dog then. Yeah, you were. You're a cute dog. Uh, you're still a cute dog. Don't worry about it. Okay, now there are... Alas, there are some enemies that I want to face. And it involves, first of all, me equipping... Was that the... Rabbit's foot? Yeah, rabbit's foot. Yeah, the rabbit's foot, because it gives me a ton of speed. I need to be fighting a certain enemy here called the Ghost of Starman. He has a 1 in 128 drop that drops off... Let's see, which item is it? He drops off the Goddess Ribbon, which is a pretty good item that I want to see if I can try to get. However, I will not spend a ton of time on it just because 1 in 128 items are more for bragging rights na now than they are actual stats. So let's fight this enemy and see if he is the one. He is not. Oh boy. The best place for, to farm for the Ghost of Star Starmen is right here, uh, near the library. If you just make a kind of back and forth motion, they should spawn. So if I just pace right here, they should. I should bump into them. I don't think that was one, but I believe that this will just work pretty well. Yeah, there's there's probably one now. Yes siree. It might be an, a mechanical octobot as they will appear side by side, so that's problematic, but the mechanical octobot has a 1 in 128 drop of its own. It has the uh, meteotite, I believe, which is an item that the only thing, on it's, its only purpose is to sell it for a ton of money. But the Ghost of Starman has a very simple strategy, if I can run into him. Uh, the goal is not to get green swirls because that's really hard, also this is not it. <sighs> Son of a gun. <laughs> but... It's the goal is to act first w because Paula has the the uh, rabbit's foot, and then use a shield on it, shield Omega, and you should kill it pretty quickly. So let's just do this, finish this off, and see if I can get it. I will cut ahead to where I am successful if I am. However, I will not spend too much time on it just because, like I said, one in one twenty eight drops are more for bragging rights right now than they are actual stats. 
Oh, I never mentioned the reason for using a PSI Shield Omega. It is because of this. As you'll see, its first attack will probably be a PSI Star Storm. It will, uh, which is so powerful that the shield will just reflect it and kill the Ghost of Starman. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so it just pretty much instantly kills it, and you take no damage. So you use up some PP, yes, but you're not taking any damage at all, and as soon as it acts, it will be able to use that. So instead of taking all of the punishment, why not just have it kill itself? That's the best way to do things. Hey! Mediatite! Not the item I wanted! Ah, uh, I got a 1 in 128 drop, though. And Ness's level is now 79. One more level, and then I am going to stop, because I don't want to get too overleveled. And I might get a rare drop from this. There's the level 80, so I am indeed done with this. Offense went up by 6, oh baby, defense went up by 3, speed went up by 2, guts went up by 1, uh, vitality went up by 3, uh, IQ went up by 2, luck went up by 2, sweet! Maximum HP went up by 44, that rocks! Maximum PP went up by 16. So, that's it for that, I'm going to heal up and then I'm going to carry on. Uh, I only got the Mediatite and also I had a... I had a problem of the Octobots stealing my ketchup packets, so I'm going to have to buy a couple of those before I go on to the final battle, uh, but yeah, I'm so glad they didn't steal my magic truffle, and they didn't. Okay. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up, you forgot, your memory is horrible, just heal me, <laughs> and let me move on. I'm just here for the food. Get back in the kitchen, woman. <laughs> uh, don't take that the wrong way. In fact, I would probably be the one in the kitchen. And just in the spirit of me doing stuff and wanting the items, I'm going to be I'm going to be taking every opportunity I can to fight these enemies, especially because like even if I don't use my psychic shields, like just watch this. I'm just going to do everything, burn everything, fire everything on all of these guys, and then I'm going to kill them all in the first turn. I mean, I have so much PB now, and I'm right next to a rest spot that it's not really that bad to do so. Um, I can just use Star Storm Alpha and kill everything on the field. Hopefully before they do that, but no promises. However, it's not that detrimental because I have Healing Omega, or Life Up Omega, sorry. This is nasty. This is nasty. Ugh. Also, it made a really disgusting noise. Do you guys hear that? That was very gross. Let's use Omega and hopefully do everything. And Paula survives with 1 HP. So it's not a complete scrap. And everyone's paralyzed. Wonderful. So I guess it's not the best thing to, <laughs> to just rush blindly into a bunch of enemies. Because they are still strong. But I really do want that item. Okay, let's just use Life Up. This. And I believe this is the first time you guys get to see... Um, people who are paralyzed. Their their walking animations are slowed down. Uh, I believe healing beta takes care of that. I could be wrong. Does it? No, nothing. Okay. Is it healing omega? I mean, gamma, I mean? Probably is. I mean, it would have to be. Yeah, it is. I have so much PP at this point, it's not really that bad to, to do this. Like, it costs a lot, but I'm only down to 400, and my numbness, numbness is gone. So Ness is kind of like the hyper healer of the group now. But uh, I will be cutting these battles- oh, oh, I got a green swirl on that. I will be cutting these battles out if if I would enter them, just because I don't want you guys to be sitting through this. Done and done, baby. Let's move on to beautiful these enemies. There are going to be a lot of cuts this episode. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that's just. That's so good. Oh, that's funny. Ness just died, but that's that's very funny. You know what I did? Um, I had Ness use his AOE attack, and the evil eye um, made him feel strange, so as soon as he used it, he used it on the group, but I had a psychic shield, and so it killed Ness. That's really funny. 
He he still didn't die though because he has so much HP that it takes him forever to time down. But that's that's really funny. I'm probably gonna get another one one to twenty eight drop. Hopefully the one I want. It's like it's like Christmas where I want a certain present and if I don't get it I'm gonna throw a fit. Okay, life up on yourself. Okay, let's move on. And while we do, I would like to talk about my feelings as we wrap up this Let's Play. Earthbound is a great game. And in the spirit of me getting 128 items, I would like to talk about those. And we have time this episode, so I don't feel guilty about doing this. Um, but I would like to talk about this because it's it's a problem that I, I have with the game. Let's go ahead and actually do that. Earthbound has a lot of 1 in 20, 128 drops, and past the Sword of Kings, they start actually getting good. But the problem with the, with them is, like, they're, I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I I like to be able to get reach a late game and be super powerful and beefy, but the 1 in 128 drops I find disappointing in that a lot of them are so late in the game that you're not able to use them. In fact, Ness's uh, ultimate item, we have yet to encounter. And this is probably, it's, I believe it's next to the last episode before the finale. I'm not counting the bonus episodes. So, that's, that's an issue. I mean, if Ness's f ultimate item is literally right before the boss, which it is, then I'm not able to actually use it. And that brings me to the 128 items. However, as, as, Mixed, as mixed as I feel about those items, um, it it disregards the fact that I can't actually talk. I'm probably not making any sense to you guys, but I'm trying. Um, Earthbound is not a game to... I don't know. It's not a game that's a master RPG. I mean, it does things that are great. Sure, it does things that I've never seen before. Yes. But it's not... It's a very simple RPG as far as other RPGs go. So... For for the focus not to be on the weapons and for them to be so hard to get, I don't actually mind that much. Also, that I believe would have diamondized me. So I guess long story short, even though I'm trying to get the one into one twenty eight items and I'm complaining about it because they're hard to get, I guess I shouldn't be complaining because the game is almost perfect in every other every other aspect. And so for me to be complaining about one small thing, that's just me splitting hairs. All right. Well, we've meet, we've reached the meteorite. Now it's time for us to get w what we came for. There's something shiny that you can reach. Do you want to try and get it? Yes. Ness got the meteorite piece. So, 35, 36 episodes, and we've come full circle. Literally, we are right back to the place where we started in the first minutes of the first episode. And this will be the Starman that I actually get a, uh, I'm going to get a thing from the Starman. I'm going to get the, the pendant from the Starman, or whatever the item is. I actually forgot what it is. Let's go ahead and kill it and get out my item. Now, I'm making a prediction that this will be the Starman that I get it on, since I have tried for so long to get a 128 item this episode, or at least today when I'm recording this, that I cannot help but get a 128 item here. So let's bash it to death, finish it off, finish it, there it is, it's finished off, and we're going to get a 128 drop. Watch this. Jeff's level's now 73, his HP went up by 3, and I didn't get it. Son of a gun. Man, I was, I was really hoping that I would predict it, but alas, it was not meant to be. So, we have our item. Now, I could teleport out, but I would like to go to Ness's mom to heal up. I also want to give a couple more opportunities to get it, for the game to be generous and give it to me, but it looks like... The game is not really spawning enemies, so I guess I'm not going to get it. Alright, moving on. This episode is going to be slightly cut short, uh, mainly because this is the last episode before the final battle. I didn't mean to spoil that, but that's it is true. So, I'm going to be cutting it short just so that the final episode is not super long, but it's also not just, oh, here's the end. Bye. <laughs> See you in the bonus episode. So I just want to make sure that you guys get some substantial thing for the finale, even if it means that the episode before it has to be cut short and is lacking in, I guess some would call meat. Okay, uh, Paula, I forget. You need to do this, and Jeff, you need to do this, and also this this episode's mostly battles, which I apologize, but it's what most episodes, what last, or bleh, 
what most ending episodes pretty much are. I mean, look at any Zelda game, and you're going to see a lot of battles before the end, with the exception maybe of Skyward Sword, because there, there was a gigantic puzzle dungeon at the end of that. Okay, let's finish this battle off with style, heal myself up, then use teleport beta to get out of this joint. And he's dead. And I'm going to get a 128 drop because I, <laughs> I am a victim of gambler's fallacy. It looks like the game's not going to give it to me, so I'm just going to use teleport beta in a hustle and go to actually, uh, foreside because I need to restock on ketchup packets since some were stolen to from me. Then I will meet you guys back at Saturn Valley where we will give the meteorite piece to Mr. Man. And away. Once again, this episode kind of falls in a weird space where I'm just preparing for the final battle. I'm going around doing random things, uh, if you count doing battles and actually doing story stuff random. Uh, but falling on, uh, falling along line with what we got, I got the mediatite or mediatite met. Medi I don't know. It's it, it's worth a lot of money. It's worth two thousand dollars, and that's the only thing it does. So I ha now have two thousand more dollars, and <laughs> that's just enough. I needed to save up to get some ketchup packets. So let's go ahead and purchase those. Then I will cut over to Saturn Valley. Uh, three more should do it. All right, it's all come down to this. We have the meteorite piece. This is what my inventory is looking like. I have the hand aid. I have revival items and damaging items in Paula's inventory. And let me go ahead and re-equip that item that I had. Uh, this. I have the ba doo ba doo ba doo boop ba doo ba doop. I have multi bottle rockets, and finally I have brain food lunches. This is the inventory that I want to use going into the final battle, and. This is how I get to that final battle. Hmm. If only I had a piece of a meteorite, I might be able to extract some zexon- uh, zexonite? <laughs> I always have trouble with that. And he says the same thing. Let's go ahead and use the meteorite piece. Oh yes, this is fantastic! What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. Alright, leave everything to us, and you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. So, one warning, going into this final battle, you will not be able to save, and if you do, somehow, I don't think you can save there, but if you manage to, you will not be able to go back and see the wonders of the world before uh, you defeat spoilers. <laughs> so, save now, or forever hold your peace, and that's what I'm going to do. I need to rest, and then we should be able to get our feet off the ground, literally. All right, they should be done. Let's talk to them again. Finally, it's complete. The Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your prog- Okay, so you can't save. Don't be afraid. Get r right in. There is just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you are optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Huh. <sighs> yes. Even if you're not 100%, perfectly, completely ready. Well, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. They are. Good. At last, the time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. Yeah, I got it. I got... I got it. Let's just get right in. <laughs> Without further ado, we'll go ahead and head on in to the Phase Distorter. You remember that when we were in the Lost, uh, the, yeah, the Lost Underworld, there was a cave that led to an area very similar to this. In fact, it was this area that it led to. Greetings, so you are finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There is only little t a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Who became conscious? A PSI Starstorm Omega. Oh, 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 oh. It's getting better. It's so good. PSI o uh, Starstorm Omega. 
for a PP cost of 42. It does 720 damage to each enemy. So it is less than twice the PP cost, and it does twice the amount of damage. Ness is green with Envy, and he's also jealous because Envy and jealousness is not the same thing, except it is. Kidnapped. I was. Boing. Kidnapper. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Ding ding. That's interesting, because when we were there, when we were here, we were there. We were on that cliff, and we could see the Phase Distorter version 2, which is interesting, because if we had gone back to uh, Saturn Valley, we wouldn't have seen it. So, essentially, Pokey traveled back in time a little bit to this area, just to get an edge on us. Interesting. Very interesting. But... It's time to go. This would be a perfect place for a camera guy location, but alas, I, he's not here. So, we will head through this. We will examine this pillar thingy thing next time. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said... Oh, wait. The phase distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. So now, we have another phase distorter. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... Okay, he's not telling us anything. You must warp to the past and fight, but... I guess we'll find out, but what? next time. <laughs> oh, I do the outros, yo. Uh, like I said, this was a kind of short episode. It was kind of a weird episode, honestly, because there were so many cuts, and it was just kind of off, I guess, but second to last episodes usually are. Next time, we will be going to the past to defeat Gygus with this inventory. I, ha I haven't stressed that enough. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment. Tell me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of, of Earthbound, Almost said Okami, again. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I'll see you guys next time for the riveting finale of Pal Plays Earthbound. See you guys then! This episode took about three hours to record. One in 128 items curse you!